Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. If you can believe it, we are going to test out more new Wet n Wild products. Wet n Wild has been on a roll to start off 2021. I couldn't be happier. I grew up using Wet n Wild. I've been using Wet n Wild since I was like in the sixth grade and I'm 38 years old. So that is quite a number of years. Today, we are going to be trying out their new tinted hydrator, tinted moisturizer, foundation, whatever you want to call it, new full coverage concealer. Guys, I was just thinking in my head the other day, literally, like maybe a week or two ago, man, I wish Wet n Wild would come out with a new concealer because between you and I, not the biggest fan of their current concealers. So when I saw that they came out with a brand new full coverage, five bucks for a new full coverage concealer from one of my favorite drugstore brands, sign me up for that. I also bought their new Cloud Pout. Where are these? Oh, here it is. I was like, where are these items that I'm gonna be talking about and showing you guys? This is called the Cloud Pout and it is what you see right here. This one is in the shade Marshmallow Madness. These are like whipped up yummy goodness. It smells so good. It smells like marshmallows. It smells like cotton candy. Um, love this shade. Really, really nice shade. And what else are we trying out today? I think that's it. Yeah, two concealers the lipstick, and of course, the tinted hydrator. I picked all of my items up online from Ulta Beauty. Nothing was over $6, so definitely easy on the pocketbook. All right, guys, so I've already gone outside. I've done swatches of these. I'm actually wearing all of the products that I'm gonna be showing you guys in today's video right now on my face, and they have been on my face for quite some time already. So I'm gonna take you through the deets of all of the products that we're gonna be trying today. Then I'm gonna show you the swatch photos that I did outdoors in natural lighting so that you can see what they're going to look like on a fair to light skin tone. Then we'll do the application portion of the video, periodic check-ins throughout the day, and I will be giving you guys my final thoughts at the end. We're going for a 10 hour wear test today, guys. So if you guys wanna see all of these new Wet n Wild, mainly face products in action, keep on watching. This color correcting and crystal-like skin finish primer may seem like a mirror to a parallel dimension, but that's your real skin glowing back at you. Wet n Wild's Prime Focus Glass Correct Primer delivers a flawlessly translucent glass skin effect in two tinted formulas. The green color corrects redness with skin-loving spirulina, and the yellow brightens the appearance of skin with vitamin C. Now you can have perfected glassy skin in a single step and not to worry. Our formula is suitable for all skin types so you can achieve instant radiance without the grease and shine. Both the green and yellow can be worn alone as a natural perfector or as a primer for extended makeup wear. Wet n Wild's Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator Tinted Skin Veil features buildable sheer to medium coverage with a semi-matte finish for a naturally flawless and nourished glow. Transforms a multi-step routine into a one-step regimen so you'll be ready in a splash with this lightweight, multi-purpose, and super convenient formula. Simply tap, blend, and build to your preferred coverage for hydrated radiant instant perfection. Select from our versatile range of shades to transport yourself to complexion paradise. The key benefits, oil-free and hydrating with hyaluronic acid and vegan squalene, provides buildable sheer to medium coverage with a semi-matte finish for all skin types. The Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer delivers all-day wear and buildable matte medium to full coverage so you can get sly on the fly without them ever knowing. This formula is your undercover agent, fully concealing imperfections without detection under sunlight or spotlight. Even better, Incognito Concealer brings skin crimes to justice with nourishing and hydrating ingredients like shea butter, licorice root, extract, and mango seed butter. 
lightweight, ultra long lasting, and luxurious in application, this concealer has you completely covered whether you choose all work or all play. Seamlessly blendable, richly pigmented, and also perfect for highlighting and contouring, they'll simply never crack the endless secrets of the incognito coat. All right, so I'm going to go in first with the new primer. This is the Glass Correct Primer. I believe this is going to be the one, yeah, this is the green primer, so it's going to neutralize the redness. And I have some redness here. I have a little pimple there. Um, it is sealed, so just FYI. And this is what she looks like there. Ooh, look at that. It doesn't really smell like anything. It feels nice and soft and creamy. This feels really hydrating. It feels slightly tacky, which is fine, but you can definitely see the glow. I don't know how much it minimized the redness. I mean, certainly it's not going to do anything there, but I guess it did tone it down just a little bit, like maybe through here, although my nose kind of still looks red. All right, so let's go in with the new tinted hydrator. This contains hyaluronic acid and squalene, and it is oil-free. Says that it's sheer to medium coverage, which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but we are trying the new full coverage concealers, which I am so, so excited about. Now, I picked up the shade Light in this one, and this one is also sealed. So I'm gonna try, I guess I'm gonna try with my finger first. It's a very thin consistency. So it might be just a little too dark for me, but I'm sure once I blend it in and then add the concealer and all that, I won't be able to notice too much, but ooh, this feels nice. I do have a damp Wet n Wild makeup sponge here that I do want to see how this is going to apply. And I'm just going to put this all over. I'm going to take it up under my eye as well. This does feel really nice though going on. Like really hydrating. I can see that it's like evening out my skin tone. So if you're just looking for something lightweight, fast, easy, just to do that. And this might be something that you might want to check out. And plus it's super affordable. All right, so this is what we're looking like, a tinted hydrator, just the primer. Not bad, not bad. Now let me use my little sponge. Now since this is a sheer to medium coverage, I'm assuming the medium is because you're gonna have to build it, you might want to just use your fingers for this to apply just because makeup sponges do tend to soak up some of the product and I'm already going to have to pump out a little bit more. All right, so it's definitely wearing really nicely on the skin. Like my skin is absorbing the product really well. It is not laying on top of the skin. It is becoming part of the skin and it actually looks really really nice although it is pretty sheer coverage let's see if i build it up a little bit i actually do like the shade even though it might be slightly darker than my skin tone i actually don't mind i just think it looks really nice and you all know I love that nice, dewy, <laughs> glowy complexion. And of course, when I add powder, that'll tone some of it down. All right, guys, so that's what it's looking like with two applications. I like it. I think it's pretty good. I actually, I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting something, eh. <laughs> Just because it's like a, you know, tinted hydra. I've been trying so many of these tinted moisturizers, tinted hydrators lately. Um... I don't know, but this one seems pretty good. We are gonna spot conceal though, because we have two brand new concealers to try out. This is the Megalast Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. I am so happy to see that Wet n Wild came out with a new concealer, because to be honest, 
I was not a fan of the other concealers that they had in their lineup. So I have very high hopes for this. Now I did pick up two shades, which you guys saw right before this um, application portion of the video. But I just wanna show you what these look like in indoor lighting. So this first shade right here, this one is light beige. And then this other shade, this is gonna be lighter. This one is in the shade Fair. And really quick, it does have a doe foot applicator. So there you go, light beige and Fair. So I'm gonna use Fair to do my under eye area with. And right here, just like where I would wanna highlight as well. This is all from that one dip. Now let's blend this. I have very high expectations for this concealer. Okay, nice. Nice, nice concealer. Seems to be laying well on the skin, mixing really nice with this tinted hydrator. I am more impressed with this one than I am with their original one, the Photo Focus Concealer. Um, so far I'm liking it. And one side of my face I am not gonna set with powder and then the other side I will, especially so we can see how the under eye area is going to look with this new concealer. I'm gonna go in with the darker one and just kind of add a little bit of coverage down here. I like the consistency of this concealer. And look, it really does Provide good coverage. Oh yes, way to go Wet n Wild. Now I'm gonna use some of the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Translucent Setting Powder. And this is actually one of my favorite setting powders. It's a really good one if you haven't tried it yet. Um, I think a lot of you will enjoy it. Now let's see, I think mm, this is the side, no, this side? I'll set this side. I think I tend to set the, <laughs> the same sides every time I try out something, but just picking up a little bit there. Actually, that's probably too much. You always want to do this, guys. Just get your ring finger, dab under your eye, and then set the product there. Do this area. So you can definitely see as I'm adding the, the powder, it takes the, the dewiness down a little bit, but that's okay. I'm normal to oily. It will all come back on its own within time. Powder, no powder. All right guys, so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera. I might even be filming my eye look. We're probably just gonna do a full face of Wet n Wild today and I'll probably film my eye look um, and post that on my Instagram because I haven't posted any quick little makeup tutorials on my Instagram in a while, so I'm behind on that. Um, oh, I have one more thing that I would like to try out on camera. This is the Wet n Wild Cloud Paint, or Cloud Pout, I should say. This is the Marshmallow Lip Mousse. Um, and I got the shade Marshmallow Madness. Ooh, it smells nice. Ooh, it smells like cotton candy. Ooh, that's nice. That's like very airy and lightweight. Marshmallow Madness really nice and it smells really, really great. We're gonna be giving these new face products a good 10 hour wear test today. You guys know I will be back throughout the day giving you all my periodic check-ins so we can see what this new tinted hydrator and the new incognito full coverage concealers, thank goodness, from Wet n Wild are looking like on my 38 year old normal to oily skin. I will check in with you guys a little bit later.
All right, guys, this is now six hours trying out these new Wet n Wild face products. I'm wearing the new primer and I don't have it in front of me, but I have my computer in front of me. It was the uh, green primer, the Prime Focus Glass Correct Primer. I am also wearing the brand new tinted hydrator. What is the exact Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator Tinted Skin Veil. And I'm wearing two shades of the brand new Incognito, no, Mega Last Incognito All Day Full Coverage Concealer. Had it on for six hours. This is the side that has powder. This is the side that does not. Guys, I am pretty impressed. This is like a tinted moisturizer that provides sheer to medium coverage. Usually those products don't always last or hold up so well on my normal to oily skin. This one seems to be doing just fine on both sides. I will say that this is a side or the eye that I did not set with powder. I kind of settled just a little bit, but honestly, guys, not that bad. Nothing that you can't just pat out with your finger and go. The coverage is definitely still there. Looks very smooth in through here. This is my problem area. Like right in here, makeup will start caking up on me almost instantaneously. It did not. It worked really well. And I am wearing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Setting Powder. That is one of my favorites. My oils seem pretty controlled on this side. This side, I kind of see them. I see them more so like right here on my forehead. And I did not set this part with powder, but I got my little bang there to kind of cover that. The rest of my makeup, guys, is all Wet n Wild products. This is the new Heart and Soul 10 Pan Eyeshadow Palette. And I will have this look on my Instagram probably before. I'm not too sure. My neighbors are doing yard work. Ignore that. Um, but probably before this video goes up. So definitely be on the lookout for that. And follow me on Instagram if you aren't already. I would love to have you as a follower. But this makeup still has a few hours to go because we are definitely going to do 10 hours today then i will show you what it's looking like and give you my final thoughts at that time so i will check in with you guys a little bit later all right guys we've come to the 10 hour wear mark with all of these new wet n wild beauty complexion products this is how my skin is looking not too bad, right? Not too bad. I will say I do prefer the powder side over the non-powder side. I just think like everything is laying really well on the skin on this side. While I still have a little bit of breakup like through here, this is just normally where the breakup starts to happen on me. I noticed it more so on the side that I did not set versus the side that I did set. And I will say my under eye area, totally smooth on the side with the powder, a little bit more creasing. And I guess maybe it lost a little bit of coverage on the side that I did not set it. So I definitely recommend, no matter what your skin type, I think I would definitely lightly set this uh, tinted hydrator as well as the concealer, just so you can make sure you get that longevity from it and you get that full coverage from it. Um, up here on my forehead, like, and guys, look at my skin. It doesn't even look like I have oily skin. Like it looks pretty good, pretty, pretty good. And my T-zone, is usually the place where I'm the oiliest, especially my nose. And I will say, guys, my nose on both sides, it's looking pretty smooth. Like, no caking up. Maybe a little bit more oil on this side, right? But not that bad. Like, I've been way worse than what it is right now. It's not even bad right now. So, overall, I'm super impressed with the tinted hydrator. Like, I, I don't know what I was expecting but I wasn't expecting this, you know, like I just, I guess I thought I, I, since it's sheer to medium coverage, I don't know, like I just, I prefer more of a medium to full coverage, but this wore really, really nicely. And even the rest of my makeup, like it's still, it's still on, it's still intact. Um, as far as the primer goes, I was impressed with the primer too. I wasn't expecting it to be so dewy, but the way the description describes it as um, providing a glass-like skin finish, it definitely did that. Now that I think about it and uh, going back and doing my editing and stuff, I could really see 
the glass like skin claim. So if you have redness that you need to diminish, I don't think it diminished all of it, but it did a pretty decent job. I wouldn't say it did an outstanding job, but if you have maybe a little bit less redness than I do, then this is definitely something that you might want to check out. And it's very moisturizing too. So that's a plus. Um, as far as the concealers, oh my goodness. So, so happy that Wet n Wild put out these concealers. They needed a new concealer in their lineup. And guys, just with all of these products, Wet n Wild is definitely stepping up their game. They are reformulating, they're repackaging, they're just coming out with all of these new products that I know are probably going to start to phase out some of their older products, their existing products, and I'm not mad about that at all. I think this new addition with these incognito concealers absolutely wonderful definitely worth checking these out and if you're looking for something that's just going to provide a sheer to medium coverage you need something quick and on the go i like applying this with my fingers best this new um bare focus tinted hydrator is definitely something you might want to add to your cart um i do think this is available in some walmarts so um, definitely be on the lookout for that, but I like that it has the hyaluronic acid and the squalene, and it is oil-free. And last but not least, we have the um, Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. I love the shade. I love the way this smelled. However, it didn't last that long. I mean, I, have, I put like a little bit of a lip balm over this, but I've reapplied this twice throughout the day. And after I ate lunch, most of it was kind of already come off. It was just like kind of like the outline that was still left on my lips. But it's still a cute little product. Something nice, very airy, very like moussey, very lightweight on the lips. Doesn't cake up or anything like that. And they had several different shades to choose from. So not mad that I have this really nice color to take me into spring. And that is my review, guys. I am very impressed with Wet n Wild. I can really see that they are stepping up their game in 2021. And they're just coming out with a lot of great products. I cannot wait to see what's in store for Wet n Wild for the remainder of, oh, remainder of the year, for the rest of the year. We're just getting started with 2021. I already know there's going to be, there's a lot of good drugstore makeup coming out right now. And guys, I have you covered because I have another drugstore foundation review coming up after this one. And it is from Catrice. So definitely stay tuned for that. And definitely leave me your comments on this video. What did you think of all of these new Wet n Wild complexion products. Have you seen these out? Again, I don't watch reviews. When I know I'm gonna try a product out, I want my opinions to be my own. So I have no idea what's being said about the tinted hydrator and I have no clue as to what's being said about this new incognito concealer, but I hope it's all good things because I definitely had a good experience with it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.